A subscriber asked me how to deal with tension due to smaller hands at the piano. I also have small hands and know the frustrations that come with that. So here are six realizations that help me and hopefully will help you. And if you have enormous hands, first, I'm jealous. And second, stick around because these will probably also benefit you too. First, how do you know if you're small-handed? For adults, we can use octaves as an indicator. If that's the biggest interval you can comfortably and accurately play, you have smaller hands. But we're about to discover ways to make them feel much larger. And a disclaimer, never do stretchy stuff when your hands and your forearms are cold. If you have a piece that really tests your stretchy limits, do not begin your practice session with that. And I'm not really a huge fan of like stretching exercises, but if you find they do help you, again, do not do them while you're cold. It's not a thing to do to warm up. Be warm first. Realization number one, my hand position doesn't always need to be perfectly curved. Beginning pianists start with a perfectly curved position right on their fingertips. And that's great um, because it's a neutral and a relaxed position. But beginner pieces are always in simple five finger positions, right? When we progress beyond this, we often still feel obliged to keep this perfect and rounded hand position. With a curved hand, my comfortable range is really only about a sixth. Um, I can play an octave while maintaining a curved position, but I have to tense my whole hand to keep my palm high. If I flatten my fingers and palm, I can easily reach an octave and my hands have no extra tension. Additionally, I can play large chords with flat and tilted fingers to increase my comfortable range. So check out this F minor chord in first inversion. It's a nasty chord for small hands, but if I tilt my hand to the left, almost like I'm about to make a shadow puppet, I can play it easily enough. So I'm kind of playing on the side of my fingers. So if you have tension due to big stretches, try flattening your hand position and tilting your hand to play on the sides of your fingers. Realization number two, octaves are easier to reach if I play toward the bottom of the keys. Go ahead and try it. Play C's further in towards the piano. Uh, go ahead and repeat it a couple times. Do you feel the tension in your palm? If I move my fingers to the bottom of the keys, I can relax my palm and not crash into other keys. Also try aiming for the inner parts of the octave. Playing from here to here is much different than here to here. Realization number three, I don't always have to play loud. If you're working on a piece with fortissimo large chords, it is tempting to play fortissimo all the time, but this puts extra stress on smaller hands. Realization number four, my hands don't have to stay stretched out. Our hands continuously expand and release, right? Like an accordion when we play. The release is the critical time when your hand relaxes. It's often a rapid release, but still enough time to let go of excess tension. So try it out. With your right hand, play a C with finger one, then G, A, B, and C, and then go back down to C. So we're gonna play it two different ways. First, remain stretched out over the octave. So I could play it, but I felt a lot of tension. Now play the same notes, but after you play the low C, let it join the rest of your fingers as you play the G, A, B, and C, and then move it back down to play the lower C. And finally, realization number five. I can't play everything I want. Liszt, Rachmaninoff, Brahms, I can and do play some of their pieces, but many of those are just too stretchy and too dense for me. 
Thankfully, there are tons of other pieces to play that are equally beautiful, equally exciting, and satisfying. Some pieces are mostly suitable, except for a couple of measures. In those cases, you could reharmonize or roll the chords. Or just leave out a note. But again, so much literature is playable for small hands, so you really shouldn't need to do this too often. Be efficient with your practice time and limit the amount of stretchy practice each day. Even with the best technique, if you do something for too long, there's still a chance of injury. There are many incredible pianists with small hands, both male and female. There's no reason that you can't experience success as well. So good luck to you. I'll see you next time.